Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So I have some newbies I want to share with you all. So shout out to Bill Way for sending me these products over to test out, try, and share with you all. So listen, y'all know I already know how I feel about Bill Way. We talk about this every month. The super fiber, the collagen, um, gut health, heart health, all that good stuff, right? But look, First of all, they got new flavors. I told you all they were available at Target and um, Amazon. So don't forget to check Amazon if you're interested. But they do have a new flavor with watermelon. And they also have this pineapple flavor. Girl, I was like, now listen. First, I kept trying to figure out which one I wanted to try. Do I want to give a giveaway or do I want to try both of them? <laughs> we still have some left in the cabinet. So I might do a giveaway on that pineapple one. But um, yeah, because y'all know me. I want to make sure that everybody gets the opportunity to try out all these good products that's good for your heart and your health. But um, if you're interested in boosting your collagen, right? So you have skin that may be a little loose here and there. You know, our skin uh, replenishes itself overnight. Well, ain't nothing wrong with getting a little extra boost in your water, your daily water. This is my first water of the morning before I head out. But um, you just mix it in there. It already comes with a scoop, pre-measured, and it just dissolves instantly. It's not like um, that orange stuff that you feel the pieces in your mouth. It's actually pretty good. Now, it doesn't have an aftertaste. What it tastes like is like when you're done, you have like this flavor of like watermelon in your mouth. So don't think of that artificial sweetener stuff that we normally like see in these different um, drinks. But listen, anyway, I, anytime I can get some fiber in my diet or a boost of collagen, I'm all for it. Y'all know um, I'm strict on my vitamins and just trying to take care of my health. So I do have some collagen left because I did order my own. Yes, I did. And then I have one that's just fiber that the girls use. Uh, I told you monthly for the cycles when they're feeling bloated because it really helps with smooth move. It helps keep your digestive system clean. And if you keep that clean, you know, that helps with like... Um, being able to digest your food properly, going to the bathroom the right amount of time that you need to be going, and just keeping your body healthy from the inside out. And, um, yeah. So, shout out to Bellway for sending those over to me. I appreciate you all. I will put uh, more information about the giveaway down below. I do want to send this out to a viewer. I'll probably just go ahead and announce the viewer um, sometime next week on Thursday because I have something planned. Um, this weekend, you'll see in a little bit. But, um, yeah, let me know if you tried Bill Way or not. What do you think about it? Um, have you seen a difference since you've been using it? Just let me know. I have made it to Aldi's. I told you all that I am going to go to Aldi's on the day of the sales, and we're going to discuss their sales, their prices. Is it worth it or not? I want to discuss their dupes. Are their dupes even better um, than the name brand product? What is really going on? But today... I really focused on what was new in stores. Now, I know for some of these people, some stores get other things uh, quicker than other stores. Depends on your state, city, whatever. And then some stores um, may get one product but not the other, like and when it comes to flavors. So I just found a few things today that I had never seen before. And I was like, oh, okay. I can't wait to share this with y'all. Like this little dressing right here. i never seen this dressing, the apple one. I did pick up the apple one. I started to get this ginger and vinaigrette. I didn't get it, but let me know if you tried it. But I did get the apple in time. So I'll be making a salad today with my um, arugula and spinach, of course. Now, by looking at the fruits, you can definitely tell that spring is on the horizon, honey. It is coming. Yes, finally. Because all these apples are out, and they this is crazy. I had never seen these around this time. I want to say I saw these in fall. But these are the sweet cinnamon uh, caramel apples. Have y'all had these before? Now, I didn't buy them this week because we won't be here for a couple of days. And I didn't want them just sitting. I did get the pink lady apples because y'all know my kids love those especially in juice but let me know if you tried those before and what do you think about them they are $3.89 um for that bag three dollars and eighty nine cents Now, for those of you all who always tell me, I don't bake. It's just me. I'm by myself. Girl, go to Artists and get you a 2 $3 cake and call it a day. They have all the cakes, 7-Ups and blueberries and banana nut breads. Just pick that up. If you don't eat it all, it's okay.
it's Mardi Gras season, honey, so I already knew they had these chips. I bought these last year for the kids, um, and they ate them and enjoyed them. I didn't get them this time, and like I said, I got some plans this weekend, so I didn't want food just sitting around the house, but stay tuned for that. Now, listen, if you are into charcuterie boards or you want to try different cheeses and different meats or whatever... All this is the place to go with the different flavors and the pricing. You're going to save a lot of money just by going to all these. Now, if you're a single person, this is just for you, friend. They already got the trays already made for you. Pick up a tray, get you a little good movie, glass of wine, sit and chill. All right, so give me a heart emoji down below if you remember when I used to make these meal preps for the kids, and those are the overnight oats. Do y'all remember that? Now they're making them and selling them. That's something else. Now, I've seen them before in other stores. I just hadn't seen them in all these, but yeah. I almost got this everything but the bagel dip, but I was like, eh, I don't know. Let me know if you tried it or not, y'all. I know it has a lot of dairy in it, but just let me know. By the way, I bought this, um, is it Clor it's not Clorox, it's called something else. What is this? Chlorine. And I used it on the grout in the girls' bathroom. Y'all, it works. Especially this gel. I was like, oh, guess who won't be buying the other gels anymore? <laughs> I was like, oh my God, the grout came so clean. But uh, when I do it again, I'm going to film it so I can show you all. I did want to show you this section over here. I know uh, you probably see a lot of people talk about this when it comes to Audi. But a lot of their products that are the generic brand, the Audi's brand based, um, uh, compared to the original brand, are always like a dollar or a dollar fifty off. Like it's normally a really good like reduction in price. Now these are seven sixty five. The ones that are emergency at um, H E B this morning were ten ninety something. Um, yeah, I needed a pack. I wish I had a known before I bought those, but. Um, I'm just surprised at all the different <laughs> vitamins and everything they have coming on. And this is ridiculous. Why they put this in this big bottle? I don't know. A waste of plastic. But um, they have the B12s and melatonin. $7.99, y'all. $7.99. Now, we needed some sunscreen because I'm not sure yet about this little trip coming up. But I just picked it up because it was on clearance. I read the back of this sunscreen and the ones that's next to it. And I was like, oh, shoot. Let me get this because one is a spray and one is just a cream. But compared to the original brand, I'm definitely going to be doing that because I have the original brand bottle at home. It's just half empty. So, yeah, I bought two bottles of the Arm & Hammer. Just know I lifted my trunk when I got home and they're both exploded in my driveway. <laughs> it's one of those days, honey, but it's all good. So $12.99 for ultra whitening strips compared to what, $24? Bucks? I think that's an amazing deal. Um, I didn't get any of the um, scented um, fabric softener uh, pebbles. I didn't get any of that this time around. Last time I tried and the girls liked it on their sheets and blankets, so I might do it again. And for those who don't have a pressure cooker, you have no excuse, child. All these Brandy's pressure cookers out by three times a year now. And they're amazing price. Now, I did go through all their home section items because I want to see what was new, what was going on. Um, I did look at their towels. I didn't. I like their towels. My towels I buy come from Costco. That's the only place I buy towels from. I love Costco towels. I don't think, I don't know how their towels would be once you wash them, but I did not like the feel of them just sitting there. So, let me know if you tried them. Now, y'all know I love these candles. Keep telling y'all, grab one of those candles. They smell amazing. Now, this is pretty cool for those the little small projects. Um, sewing machine. I thought that was really neat for $14.99. This back support, not only for work, y'all, and your desk, but it's great for your car, too. So, if you have back issues, lumbar, uh, you need that support, pick up one of those back, um, I guess, support things, cushions. It has like a... Feels like a cooling sensation on the inside of it. Now, all these are bringing stuff out. I really want to say that I bet this stuff was for Christmas. And what happened was um, they probably didn't get it in time. Because I saw some other items in the store. And I'm thinking, hmm. Now, y'all know how I feel about back massagers. I think it's a must. I think everybody should own one. A back massager and a heating pad, honey. Um, yes, indeed. 
Now they have these cute little cups that we always get off of Amazon. They were a really good price with the hours on it, when to drink water and how much water. I thought those were cute. And for those who are organizing their pantries or their uh, laundry spaces, this will work well in bathrooms too. If you want to um, put like cotton balls and stuff like that, and organize your bathroom, this will be good for that too. Not just, you know, pantry foods. Like you can definitely use that in your laundry room. I saw these and I had them in my basket and got over to the register and I didn't get them. Um, $7.99. $7.99. I said that like over and over to myself, but I just couldn't justify $7.99. I like it. I think it's a cool gadget. But since I've cleaned my um, kitchen, do I really want more gadgets? I don't know. But this little container right here, I love it too. It just felt like it would just... I don't know. I didn't get it. Let me know if you get it or not and what you think about it. If there's any left and I go back to all of these, I'm going to get it. Now, here's another thing that came in, I believe, late on the truck from Christmas. This one is pine and um, balsam, I believe. Y'all, it smells so freaking good. But you know it's a winter scent. And then they also had these candles right here with these really nice, heavy, um, I feel like coasters on the top, marble tops. These smell amazing. But they're all winter scents, like the cranberry something, mistletoe and fig, like that kind of thing. Just check your Aldi. See if they're still getting those late products from the holiday season. Now, they're not going to mark them down. They told me until like um, next week, like they do with the rest of the uh, stuff that sits on the shelves. But if you like those type of scents, check them out. You just never know. Um, I did see these and these normally come out like right before back to school. We normally get these every year. Um... This one I hadn't seen before, this little small container. I didn't get this one, but I did get the small jars because we use those for ketchup, mustard, dips, or ranch, or whatever when kids make salads or whatever they do for school lunches. So we did get some more of those. Now, this was $17.99. Y'all, this thing is heavy. I was thinking originally, oh, I could put this in on my bed and blah, blah. Girl, this thing is heavy. It's definitely for a monitor. It's a really good support for a monitor. So if you're interested, check your Audi. And for those who are ready for gardening, friends, starting your seeds, all these have grow lights. So check them out. All right, so I slowed the video down because I want you to catch the light on this mosaic solar lantern. Y'all, this lantern is beautiful. Definitely worth the 24 bucks. This bad boy is heavy. This is beautiful. Can you imagine this lit up, that green or this red, uh, brick red tone? Girl, these are so pretty. I don't need them, but I was like, oh my goodness, I really, I would really like to have one. Now moving over, um, I see some more stuff that look like more holiday stuff they had here that they just got in. They also had um, a really nice selection of winter items, like blankets and stuff like that. Now, I saw these pots. They're really nice. They're not plastic. These are ceramic pots. They are $8.99, and um, they're 8-inch pots. Now, this year, I did not work with Personal Planner. Um, if a lot of things were going on. I just didn't get an opportunity to work with them. But if you're interested in a planner for $7.99, whether you're a teacher, work from home, or... You just need to get your life in order, your bills in order. So this is great for like, um, they have a wellness planner, a budget planner, parent planner. $7.99, girl, I mean, you just cannot <laughs> beat $7.99. So I just wanted to make sure I showed you that. I don't know if yours got them before hours. I always got them pretty late, but check them out. Now, people always ask me about my um, hoodie dress I have. I like to wear my black one a lot. Now, the one I got is from um, Shein, but this one right here beats Shein price. So, it's $13.99. It does have pockets, and it's a decent um, material. So, this one came in that burgundy color, the black, and the gray. Now, I thought these were cute, too. These are these boots with a little leopard on the back. I know last year, leopard was pretty big. I don't know if it's big this year or not. I know I remember uh, everybody wanted the leopard boots. Was it last year or the year before from uh, Walmart? You have to remind me.
Now, this was pretty funny. These were uh, house shoes. They were, um, I want to say, women's house shoes. <laughs> and I kept finding size 2, 3, and 5, 6. I found a few that were larger in size, but for the most part, they were all, like, tiny. Like, very tiny. So, check your um, audio. If you got tiny feet, girl, you might be able to get your little cute little fluffy um, house shoe. Your size with no problem, because the ones I kept finding were very small. And I was like, I don't know about little kids with these, but I guess, you know, they're just house shoes. Like I said, I did find a few larger in size, but for the most part, they were size 2, 3, and 5, 6. I guess if it wasn't a high of 83 today, this would be a, more appealing to me. But um, y'all know how I feel about robes. I almost bought one. I thought that blue was gorgeous down there. And I just kept looking at it and kept looking at it. And I was like, it just doesn't make sense. They had them for women and they had them for men as well. But um, with the temperatures changing here and the way it fluctuates, I'm just looking for more thinner, uh, more comfortable uh, robes right now. But they had quite a bit of stuff for winter. A while ago, I did a shop of me at Target and I showed you these blankets. Now, they have blankets. I want to say Target's blankets are a bit bigger because these are throw and Target actually had the blanket for $69. Well, right now at Aldi's, they have gray, the cream, and this rust color. And I want to say they were $29. Let me see if, if I even filmed the price. I'm sorry. Yeah, they were $29. And I was like, oh, my God, this is half the freaking price. <laughs> All right, y'all. So Aldi's has makeup. Now, when I first saw this from a distance, I said, Laura, I was, you know me, Laura Geller girl. I was like, what? But this is not Laura friend. But so these are palettes that you would kind of see like on Amazon that are like dupes of um, like Too Faced palettes or whatever, like that chocolate palette, you know, y'all know what palettes I'm talking about. So these are dupes. Now, I did open the palettes because I wanted to see and they look mighty chalky to me. I wasn't so sure about it, and I didn't want to pay $5.99 on a whim. Now, what I did buy is a mascara, because I was like, oh, I can't really go wrong with mascara. You know, and the girls love mascara. So they had some, like, defined length volume, volumizing ones. They had some to remind me of the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I wasn't sure about it, though, so um, I did not get it. They also had um, uh, two of the ones that were... Um, waterproof mascaras i try not to do waterproof because it clumps my lashes and then they had this other one that is called rise above this is the one i did get and i got this one because of the shape of the actual applicator i thought i figured it would be good for um my lower lash as well as my upper lash so there's here's the applicator here for one of the boxes i'm sorry for it being out of focus and then the rise above one this is what the applicator looked like and this is why i bought this one i can say it did fluff my lashes out it's not a lot of product in there so you're not going to get a lot of product on that applicator you don't need to wipe off anything so it's not thick or anything it's almost like just a really nice thin natural light applicator so um yeah i just wanted to make sure i shared that with you all but anyway, here's the inside of one of the palettes. See how similar it is? Hmm. You still get the same brush with the dual heads. And yeah, it just seemed a little, I wasn't so sure about it. And plus, I don't need it. That's why I didn't get it. But let me know if you tried any other makeup. All right, so it was a young lady and I going through all the palettes. And she ended up purchasing that one. So I didn't put it back on the shelf after I opened it. She wanted it. Um, I started to get this foundation, the Snapshot Ready. Reminds me of like the Photoshop uh, uh, primers, but um, Pore Minimizing Primer, that's the one that I had in my basket. But I don't really wear makeup like that anymore, y'all. The Redness Reducer Primer, they had quite a bit. Illuminating Primer, if you take pictures, girl, be careful with that. But I was like, mm, okay, fine, ain't I? Like, really? So, yeah, anyway, back to the food. I did see a few things I hadn't seen before. And, um, yeah, I just want to show you them before we close out this video. This veggie via, I think via, via, whatever, was new to me. I had never seen that one. 
Um, it was something else in here that was new to me, and I was like, hmm, interesting. They still had everything else in there, like the lobster tails and all that good stuff, which is a cheaper price than um, our HEB. Um, of course, the spiral noodles and then those little bowls that they had with all those little veggies in it. I guess you mix with like cold pastas. They had a ton of that. I did see these extra virgin Mediterranean oils and normally around this time I would grab that. But I didn't grab it because we already have enough olive oil in the pantry. But those are really, really good. If you want to try different wines and just, you know, taste the different wines that are out there, right? All this is one of the most affordable ways to do it. If you want to see if you like a red, a sweet red, a dry sparkling, a, a Bellini, like, you know, they have so many different ones. And sometimes they have local brands as well. Um, so you can support your local area as well. But the prices are usually pretty good, really good pricing for good wines. And they also have their ratings on there, just like Costco. Um, they are rated and normally those little tags will tell you whether it's dry, semi-dry, sweet or whatever. And if not, try to read the back of the bottle or just snapshot of the bottle and Google it and normally you can find out. So if you're into those dry wines or sweet wines, definitely try out all of these. Hey, hit me up down below and let me know if you tried the chocolate cellar before. I haven't tried it. I think the labels are so cute. It looked cute just in on the shelf. But let me know if you tried it and whether it's sweet, dry, or what. I would be very interested to know. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for me. I did not grab a lot. Um, oh, this mini quiche looks so good. I don't eat eggs like that, really. But I had to show y'all and let me know if y'all tried it before or not. But um, I'm about to head out because I got to prepare for a last-minute uh, vacation trip that I planned for my family. So I really ran to Aldi's just to pick up some snack stuff, and we're having um, cheese enchiladas and fajita tacos tonight. So I just ran up here to grab some stuff and head out and then go shopping later. So I am filming a shopping vlog today. So stay tuned for that. That will be on the second channel. But I will see you all on the next one. Make sure if you are gardening this year and you want to add roses to your garden um, for the benefit of like the bees and the pollinators, grab a few of those $7.99 roses from Aldi's. They will bloom and be beautiful. See you later, y'all.